Get ready to match the stars! Scott Black, Janae Terrio, Brian Kaiser, Charlotte Terrio, Ed South, and Christy Zeller as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game! And now here's the star of Match Game, Matt Kaiser! I want you all to join me as we welcome here Aaron Lyons and Ron Terrio over here. Nice to meet you guys. All right. all right. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to find out first about Aaron. Aaron, tell us just briefly a little bit about yourself there. Well, I live in Jarrettsville, Maryland. I uh, work at Port Discovery Children's Museum, and I have a great time doing so. That's good. And Ron, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I have a wife and three children. I'm retired federal, and uh, I like to play golf. Good. All right. Now, as you all know, the object of the match game is to match as many of our panelists as you possibly can. The person with the most matches after three rounds is the winner, and will get to play the super match for as much as $25,000. <laughs> So, here we go with round one. We're going to start off with Aaron. And Aaron, do you want game A or B? Matt, I will take game A, please. Game A, all righty. Everyone all set here? All set. All set. Be setter. Okay. Okay. Don't go to Dr. Quack, the plastic surgeon. <laughs> Instead of silicone implants, he uses blank. Read that one more time for yes. us, Matt. Don't go to Dr. Quack, the plastic surgeon. Instead of using silicone implants, he uses blank. Janae, I see you and I have a theme going on here. You and I are both kind of retro here. We sure are. Yeah. Why don't you stand up for just a brief moment here so that for people the can see audience. your... Yeah, this is so that they can see your dress here. She went through a lot of trouble here because we were both going to go retro. As you can see, I'm pretty darn retro myself here. <laughs> and, yes, it is. And looks like everyone's all set. Okay, Aaron. Don't go to Dr. Quack, the plastic surgeon. Instead of silicone implants, he uses... I'm going to say down feathers. Down feathers, okay. I think, yeah, that, that's, that'll do just fine. And Scott, what did you say? Well, I couldn't really think of too much. I went with the rhyme here and just said cell phone. Cell phone. <laughs> cell phone. <laughs> personally went with the idea that you work at a children's museum, and I said, Play-Doh. Play-Doh, all right. Oh. <laughs> that would be uh, a little weird. And Brian? Uh, I went a similar direction. I said, Silly Putty. Silly Putty, all right. Uh, the reason being, if you fall asleep on the newspaper, you can wake up with Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. All right, we are looking for the answer, feathers down feathers. That, anything like that would be okay. All right, Charlotte, what did you say? You've got your answer, Matt. Feathers, good. Yeah. That's a match game. Yeah. One match. Wonderful. Wonderful. We got one match, and Ed, do you have feathers or down feathers or well, something? Well, what was, that, what was that doctor's name again? Dr. Quack. Now, I think it, it could have been Dr. Anybody, but... It, it, in the operating room, Dr. Dr. Quack, Quack always uses a roll of duct tape. Duct tape, oh. okay. He picked up on... He picked up on Unintentionally on the doctor saying it could be doctor anybody. It doesn't really make any difference. It was Dr. Quack and my answer was duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not a bad answer either. And uh, Christy, what did you say? I uh, also took the quack thing. Uh, Feathers! Yeah. That's another match. Awesome. All right. Aaron, you got two matches yeah. out of that. Thank you very, much. very good. I think I'll take B. Man. Yeah. <laughs> the only one left. That's a good idea. You got this game down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the next question. The customer said to the waiter, Waiter, there's some flies in my soup. And the waiter said, Are the flies bothering you? The customer said, Well, take a look for yourself. They're playing blank. Mm, okay. Now, remember what I said about the answers. Uh, this is not Howard Stern here. Can we 
hear that again, please. Yes, the customer said to the waiter, waiter, there's some flies in my soup. The waiter asked, are the flies bothering you? And the customer replied, take a look for yourself, they're playing blank. <laughs> you could have written. <laughs> I did indeed. Okay, Ron, this is a long question. Have you thought of an, an answer? No, I to think this? I've got an answer. Okay, the customer said to the waiter, Waiter, there's some flies in my soup. The waiter asked, Are the flies bothering you? And the customer replied, Take a look for yourself. They're playing. Water polo. Water polo. Very Yay, good. Good answer. I think any anything that you play in the water or in the pool or whatever would, would be okay. Scott, tennis. what did you say? That's why I put tennis. <laughs> <laughs> no, tennis is nothing like water polo. <laughs> I'm afraid. And, well, Ron. Uh, okay. I've water got polo. Your answer right there. All right. All right. And Let me go ahead. You got and one match that. out of that. Ryan, what did you say? Did you say water polo? This is a match in my opinion. I said Marco. No. Oh, that's not the same thing. Polo's in the water. <laughs> no. Marco polo, you run, you kind of run around the pool. You I go Marco you polo, and water polo is complete, uh, completely different Matt, sport. Matt, I'm not going to get into a semantics argument with you. Right? Okay. Ron is being hard on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, semantics. Charlotte, did you say water polo? Or what did you say? No, we're playing tag. Tag, you got it upside down. Yeah, we were playing. <laughs> Ed, I we need. I used to play the laser gat when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> we need the answer. We need water polo. And Ed, what did you well, say? Well, as Johnny Carson would say, Howdy was playing some Marco Polo with my lentil beans. <laughs> <laughs> did Johnny Carson say that? Can anyone? I don't know. Do we Marco don't have a checker here. And Christy, what did you say? I said that they were leapfrog. <laughs> leapfrog, oh, sure. Good answer. Good answer. Score is two to one, and now we are going to move Ron, on I'm with you. to round.